Well, I got all of my information from Sales, who's really managing um, that component of our networks. And uh, he reported back to me that we have to go to that kind of a protocol, to the two-way uh, authentication. And uh, of course, uh, after I hear that, I tasked him to uh, find solution out there. And uh, as he always does, he contacted different vendors and uh, get some evals from uh, different companies that we put it in hand of our public safety group to test it for us. After we received the mandate from CGIS, we looked for a variety of logon methods such as biometric, TKI, and PROX. Given the unique challenge of our non-domain joint machine, um, we decided proximity cards were the best fit for us. 2FA1 provided good solutions with a shared workstation mode in our environment. We check it out the, bi the biometric, if their eyes or the finger is almost impossible because we, we cannot have a unique situation where uh, the PC, the MDT in a car has, the, um, has a biometric there, but it restored locally. Each of the officers doesn't have their the login. In Windows 7, when you log it in, you got pop up, control or delete screenshot we have implemented this 2FA stuff it basically bypass that make it up and ready they just tap in their card reader to the card reader and then they they just put the the, the pin number and then they, they're ready to go the login process takes about 30 seconds from the beginning uh, from the starting of the PC to this point, it's been real easy. We just put the card on there, it starts up, ask for your PIN, you put in your four digit, hit enter and you're going. Well, my first reaction when I heard that the police were going to move from logins and things along those lines to uh, one basically card is what we heard. Uh, my first thought was, oh no, here we go again with something else. Um, I, I, I didn't. I wasn't fond of the idea to start. After I began logging in, once well, the first time we went to the vehicle and used the new login with the, with the card, it was it was it worked. <laughs> Nothing's ever as simple as they tell you it's going to, going to be, uh, but in this case, it was. It was very easy to use. Um, it was just a matter of put the card on it and it, and it works. It's pretty intuitive. Does not require uh, extensive training. Uh, it, it's been a pretty nice process for us. Integration is one of the main components of any project that you are uh, really taking on. And uh, this system smoothly integrated with computer-aided dispatch, uh, with, with the net motion that we are using for as part of the tunneling and communication and toggling between the Wi-Fi or the um, private uh, ISP. Uh, I have not had any problem or complaining. Uh, they, were, they were happy with the 2FA product. Since our environment's unique, I have to find out the way to make it an auto logon for the NetMotion up running at the back and to have the, my 3G up and running as well to get connected to the back and then get synchronized. Um, we have to change a lot of uh, registry but again, your TFA team pretty much know what it is and they sort of bring the predefined at the application level. Uh, we just change a few stuff and then try it out. One of the things that I'm really always concerned about is that uh, getting this kind of attention before you purchase the system and using the system, that is a pretty good indication that what kind of relationship you would have on ongoing services. And so far, it was extremely pleasant. Uh, you are really professional, and the product is pretty stable, robust. Uh, we couldn't ask for anything more, really. It's really priceless process that we are going through. Um, this net motion is, is running after the login. So the thing that the 2FA does is basically having more audit at the back end. Hey, the officer A at 6 a.m. logging in through NetMotion and logging in with this credential and we know for the audit purposes um, to make it really uh, secure if we need to go back and check it out 
what's happening. It really exceeded our expectation because the timeline was right on a schedule. Um, uh, SACE has uh, several different projects that we, at the beginning of each year, we sit down, we talk about our work uh, plan and we have different timeline and the budget associated with each project. And uh, he was pretty happy with the response that getting back from you all with regard to the implementation, planning, training, etc. It's been really fantastic. He, 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 he always recommend 2FA to uh, anyone that he talks to when they call him with regard to that project. Every, every agency has a unique environment. Uh, for Addison, this is the, uh, a better solution instead of biometric or the USB token. I think we still have more uh, things to do in the future. Um, they're trying to use the same card for the billing access. And also I have the police ID card. So it's basically one card has multiple functions. Security is something that uh, is going to stay with us for a long time. It's both compelling and inevitable. Uh, it is something that we have to deal with it. And the products like 2FA, it's making that pathway a lot easier to, to face. Um, I'm pretty uh, supporter of uh, security provision with internet work because uh, I do believe with the security come a little bit inconvenience, but at the long uh, run, it would help the organization to have a reliable system. They have an integrity of the data and really knowing their business. That's, uh, that's a direction it's going and I think it's going to be there for a long time. It's, it's been a fantastic process for us. Uh, it's, it's, it's been a, really a privilege to knowing you all and get exposed to your professionalism and the products that you brought to our organization that we already expanded it uh, beyond what the original concept was. I would definitely recommend the 2FA uh, as, as a solution.